Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper in corner. We got Bonus starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom right in corner, we got DeWalt starting as the green Protoss. And this is once again Fighting Spirit Mania. We are back to it. So this so DeWalt, <laughs> it's been it's been a minute since this has been cast on my channel. Uh actually it's gonna be weird because I think it's gonna bounce back to the prior the, the prior set of uh I will start uploading this again. Um so this will be the first one that was the refresh from when I hopped back. I think I had like a a series of games that I did not yet upload. Uh, and then we're back here. So, um, catching, and unfortunately it's not going to be, this will be the wrap up video, like eight or nine videos in. Hopefully you guys are still with me at this stage. Set score overall is three to two in Bonneth's favor. This is the sixth set. So if Bonneth can win four games here out of this best of seven, he will win. However, DeWalt has him in a corner here where it is 0-3 thus far in this series. Uh, and it does feel, it, it's interesting how the momentum has kind of shifted from space to space. And I'm almost wondering if pockets of the momentum are honestly, I wish I had uh, the wherewithal to look at the dates of the replays. Also, interestingly enough, Bonneth, for whatever reason, from the, for this upper right hand corner this time, hiding the gateway to the far, to a far corner uh, near the gas. At a little bit, usually you'll see it a little bit further forward like this. So I'm curious what the reasoning is for that. Anyway, simulator down. What if he's planning on hiding tech uh, this game around? Simulator gateway on opposite end. So a little bit of a faster scout for Bonneth. It looks like he's going to go top left first. Um, I want to say that out of seven best of sevens over potentially two sets of seven best of sevens that the definitive better player has been decided. But honestly, a lot of these matches have been so close. Absolute coin flips. Uh, and the scouting is, it's just, it's insane. These guys are, but that was the other part I wanted to get back to is, is it feel, I'm almost wondering, by the way, it looks like we're seeing robotics before Zealot or, and a Zealot before robotics here from DeWalt. So a bit of a variance and DeWalt also going for a cross map scout. He's going to come across this probe. Unfortunately, via the angle, he's not going to know what location he came from. And also, Bonneth not quite catching the angle to know to go to the bottom right as well. Uh, it was just a slight angle off where he might have been able to catch it. Looks like there is going to be a defensive zealot after the cybernetic score. But this is going to allow a faster Dragoon out. I believe a faster Dragoon out. Briefly uh, from Bonneth. And potentially... Uh, yeah. Well... Yeah, just barely. Well... Let me double check that. I could be lying. Yeah, I'm lying. Actually, never mind. DeWalt going to get the faster Dragoon out. So ignore all that all the way around. Anyway, uh, in those pockets of empty time, it's interesting having them come back because it feels like they come back and all of a sudden there's like a swing or a motion in Fortune. I've noted. And so I almost want to like go back after all of this is done and look at the pockets of times based on the date of the replays. Unfortunately, I think the replay dates are just equalized across the board for me. And these were played a while ago now. Like, I think, uh, I mean, this tournament went forever, but it's taken forever to cast this, and LML has been waiting for me to finish this up. Special thanks to him before announcing the winner. But holy cow. And hopefully this will happen before the, uh, I'll be able to finish. It'll be a race before the next BSL season, which DeWalt did, in fact, win. So it'll add, hopefully, a little bit of hype to the upcoming BSL season, where it's like, okay, will Bonneth be able to retake the crown once again? One gate into Robo, by the way, after range. And it looks like we were seeing mirrored builds once again. The robotics placement. So when I, actually, when I look at the, the difference here, so the robotics here are a little bit more defensive for DeWalt, where he's placed it so that the, the Reaver will very rapidly be able to spawn and help defend a natural expansion. So I think this is going to be one gate obs into expansion for DeWalt for sure. The robotics placement here is far enough back so it, where it's a little bit slower to get down the ramp. And so I'm wondering if, if Bonneth is going to position. He's already got a probe sitting at the 3 o'clock location, by the way. And these pylons have, on a we've seen previously, the pylons that have been dropped. Sometimes they've helped, but oftentimes they've honestly been a liability where he's lost pylons uh, that he's dropped. And I'm almost wondering if this probe is indicative of some potential cheese. But I'm wondering if Bonneth, so now going into 2 gate, I'm wondering if he's going to go, yeah, that, this is what I was looking for, a quick shuttle into support bay potentially so it looks like we are going to go quick shuttle in the meantime it's two gate obs for dewalt so could be a interesting scenario where the potentially the build order victory could be in bonus favor i'm not going to say that hands down oh never mind it's going to be two gate obs it's got to be obs into robo here though for bonneth 
but sometimes this can be a disad uh, it depends on how the micro lines up and uh, and obviously the army positioning probe making its way down to kind of scout how many troops are on the front and see if uh natural expansion could be confirmed spotting that i don't think he got a look at how many dragoons were out there raw but we do have the robotics facility queuing up and what this oftentimes leads to is, is a potential reaver on the ground with shuttle support in position to defend against the dragoons that are making their way out so theoretical build order advantage to Bonneth. but it, again it comes down to positioning and a lot of other things and Dwald actually fanning out right this second he, his troops are a little bit scattered and he could also be down a bit of an initial attack force as DeWalt also checking forward. So, and I'm, su I'm surprised that DeWalt's moving so aggressively forward instead of letting the observer sneak across. Initial shots on both ends. Looks like both players gonna be able to clear each other's zealots out. But a few additional shots out in DeWalt's favor, but at the closer reinforcement point, Bonneth should be able to defend this if he gets up the ramp. He's got that, re this is where it becomes difficult for DeWalt because it's both high ground advantage and that Reaver queued up. So it doesn't matter that he's producing three gate Dragoon, although he produced a shuttle of his own in the space of this. Observer gonna be, find the lack of natural expansion. Now the advantage for, the theoretical short-term advantage for DeWalt is if he can deny this natural expansion, which is very difficult against this Reaver. Yeah, you can see Bonneth knows he's got the advantage here, making his way down. There's the Reaver on the low ground. A Lot of shots on that Reaver though. And Bonneth loses a shuttle and loses the Reaver. Oh, never mind. Reaver keeps stays alive with just a sliver of health. DeWalt now exiting. So what this means is Bonneth, first of all, going to be able to chase DeWalt. And DeWalt with that damaged Reaver actually should be able on a, uh, presuming he doesn't lose another Dragoon as he's making his way across this map, should be able to make his way to the high ground and hold here with the close reinforcements. Yeah, Bonneth gonna cycle back around, but that's still gonna be a faster natural expansion in barely a Reaver up here for DeWalt. So, or for Bonneth, I should say. So Reaver now out for DeWalt. Is DeWalt gonna continue this? It looks like yes. He wants to make his way right back up. Actually, because he was able to pick off that shuttle, this could be trouble for Bonneth because he might be able to make it back up to that natural expansion before, and these Reavers could be exposed without a shuttle to provide the protection, at which point, and now, now this pylon is actually providing massive amount of information for for DeWalt and actually might dissuade DeWalt from going for an attack and now Bonneth briefly in the red and supply blocked DeWalt actually briefly uh, supply blocked in the space of this as well very very briefly there and refilling Bonneth moving out to greet he got a shuttle up so bottom that pylon bought him some time and definitely gave him an opportunity to, to stay alive. But Bonnet now getting aggressive and making his way out of the map. And this is, keep in mind, this is one gate down. So he's going to be up, uh, I believe, a Reaver in the space of this. Both players actually, never mind, you got two Reavers in that shuttle as well. Both players are at even supply and walked across one another. So now it is a base race and it's going to come down to who can get a probe out. And who can block their, potentially who can block the high ground longer. So misfire could be a big factor in just getting into the base. This is a pure base race scenario. Probes pulling off the line for DeWalt. Bonneth, as it looks like 400 resources to drop. Yeah, the probe trying to sneak out, not able to. He's gonna, I would target that, or the robotics look like it's unpowered. The Dragoon's making the way up. This is a damaged Reaver. DeWalt not queuing anything else up. Was he able to get a probe out? No, it looks like not. That shuttle trying to make its way back. These probes dead. DeWalt's still working with 13 workers on his end. And I think he recognizes it's just a foot race here. And the probes scattering around. They're trying to find the way out. And that's going to delay the Dragoons, though. So with the Dragoons delayed, that's going to give DeWalt some time to just get more damage done. Three Dragoons are actually peeling their way out. So three workers, a pylon's getting dropped to just buy some time. Dwalt has one worker left that's soon going to be zero. So now it's just going to be a race to who can take down in a Dwalt just checking to make sure nothing was built on the corners. He's got the lead thus far. And Dwalt looks like he's going to win this and take the entire set because he's just going to be able to take out the buildings faster. Two probes. Never mind, Bonneth. He has two probes in that shuttle. He managed to scoop out two probes in the space of that. How did he manage that? And he's redropping a Nexus at his opponent's main. 
and cycling out an observer, that's going to be the game winning maneuver. We have the shuttle opposite side with the two Reaver. Zero workers for DeWalt. How did he get those out? Oh my goodness. So that's going to be a victory in a barn burner. Oh, this is going to be close, actually. Okay, so he's got this Nexus. That's the last building. That's it. So now DeWalt, he's got to suicide up and pick off that Nexus before Boneth kills anything on his side. If he can suicide into that Nexus, he wins. Because there's not... He's not going to have enough time. He's going to have one more shot here. One more shot to try to stay alive. And so it's going to come down to one last big macro fight. And this zealot might cost a lot here. These pylons going to be stalwart in the meantime. And the other trick is, is uh, DeWalt has more vision in the space of this. So might be able to micro up and get some free shots off on that corner, depending. I don't know how you would play this, though. Okay, we're going to fan out a little bit. This Zealot coming up late. Even supply. Zealot eating initial shot. The Dragoons making the way up to the high ground. Dragoons are in. The Dragoons just eating a lot of splash, and this is just a brutal, brutal choke. And I think that choke is going to be all the difference. DeWalt now down to 20 supply. And the misfire up the high ground is costing him. So Bonneth with an absolute miracle. Grabbing the... Scooping up the workers and able to travel down to DeWalt's base to rebuild the Nexus. Keeps him alive in the series. And he was that close. DeWalt was that close to forcing it to the next best of seven. Great game. Holy cow. That was a fun one to come back to for me. You guys have been watching this a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.